So the first step to my mindful routine at night is to drink a nice hot cup of tea. Drinking tea at night actually is a very good practice to put into your routine. One, because it helps you to sleep well. It is a known fact that we should all be getting around eight hours of sleep per night in order to remain healthy and in order to remain nice and energized for the next day. But some of us, it's very impossible to complete that task. So drinking hot tea or a nice herbal tea or green tea before you go to bed is going to definitely help with calming down your body and also help those who suffer from not being able to sleep at night. So for my tea, I actually just put together a bunch of herbs that I got from my local health food store and I also put in some lime and a little bit of flower essence. So now I'm on to take my vitamins before I get started with the rest of my routine. And some vitamins it's great to take in the morning time, but other vitamins it's totally fine to take at night. So that's what I'm just going to go ahead and do. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start on my yoga routine. And I love to go on YouTube and follow the Adrian yoga girl. I don't remember her name, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, she has really good yoga routines, especially if you're wanting to just, you know, find a quick routine or if you're just starting out. I strongly believe that if you're doing your yoga right before bed, you should be doing a more relaxing routine rather than a more upbeat yoga routine. But that's just my personal opinion. I think that a lot of times you should be staying on the mat when you're doing your nightly yoga routine. But like I said, it's just an opinion type of thing. You can do whatever you like to do. <laughs> About five minutes after my yoga routine I decided to go ahead and follow up with the quick meditation and I did my quick meditation um, it was about 10 minutes long a lot of people think that you have to meditate for a long time but you can do whatever fits your schedule so I did about eight to ten minutes of meditation and that worked for me that really did um, help me and it really was a powerful med meditation So now I'm going to go ahead and create a quick bath salt. Now this bath salt I got from a health food store and it's already put together but it's not much in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of that bath salt and mix it with some sea salt that I have here which is the Himalayan sea salt. And I just mix that all together because the mix that I have in this jar already has a lot of essential oils and a lot of oils and herbs and things already mixed into the mixture so I just took a little bit more salt to make it an actual bath salt if that makes sense. So I love to take these type of baths like salt baths with pink Himalayan salt because it is good for cleansing the body and just ridding the body of any type of impurities or toxins that are there. It also helps with relaxing the body and it also helps with relieving any type of muscle aches. You can use absinthe salt if you want to, but I just like to use pink Himalayan salt because it does help with drawing out the impurities in the skin. And actually, to be honest, this mixture has Himalayan pink salt and also absinthe salt, so it's a little bit of both. So to my bath, I'm adding Bubba Boy oil from Nourish by Shantae and it's a 100% organic oil. I like to add this to my bath because it's very good for your skin, any type of scarring or stretch marks that you may have and it also just moisturizes the skin and has a very soft touch to the skin. I'm also going to add in lavender essential oil and I'm going to be washing with the Alafia body wash and I really like this body wash because it's very gentle on the skin. It's really great to take a bath every now and then because it does relax the body and put you in a more relaxing state. So I like to take baths every now and then. Um, I love taking showers, but baths are just more relaxing to me. So 
it's always great to wind down with a nice book after you get finished with your bath. Of course, normally I would be on my phone, but this is a mindful routine. So it, it's good to put the phone down and just educate yourself and expand your mind because honestly, that puts you in a more relaxing state. Sometimes being on your phone or on social media can put you in an uproar or make your mind just go wander or be having all this stuff on your mind that's not even your issue. So a lot of times reading a book and just sitting with yourself is a lot better. I know it can be boring, but guys, if you just get in the routine of it, it becomes more easier. I also have gotten to the routine of sometimes doing these statements where I put down what I'm grateful for. So that's what I'm doing here. You can write down intentions or how you want your next day to be or anything that you choose to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this mindful routine. If you did, give it a thumbs up and so that I know that you guys want to see more videos like this. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.